as you can see by the title of the video, this is just a video of what you do after you've bought your snake. Um, I thought I'd use this snake, she's just over there, as I got only got her yesterday, so might as well do it with her. Um, well, you've bought your snake, um, what you want to do is I use... I set them up as I go, but I would not recommend that. You want your Viv set up for a minimum, Viv tank enclosure, whatever you want to put it in, rub, whatever. Um, you want the enclosure set up about 24 to 48 hours before buying your snake. Um, sorry, I'll just get a shot of her. I'll just zoom in. Um, yeah, I got this girl yesterday. If you, what, Sorry, it's focusing on the plastic. But uh, yeah, whatever. Um, I got her yesterday, so I'm leaving her to settle in. Now, everyone, I, I'm, I'm a, I agree with them. Um, do not stress your snake out as soon as you put it in the viv. Do not be constantly getting it out and messing about with it, because one, you'll stress, one, you'll stress the snake, and two, um. You'll probably have a snake that won't eat for a good while. Uh, but I've always... I don't know. Um, I... I wouldn't say I handle them. But, well, I do. But I always make it no longer than, like, 30 seconds. Like, if I want to check something in there, like, I mean, the probe's under the substrate and the snake's on top of it, say I want to check that, I'll literally pick the snake up and move it out of the way. Um, I don't know, even handle, even when they are settled in, I never handle a snake for a long period of time, as they are quite, but quite sorry, they are cold, but cold blooded, so, which means they don't produce, like, they're not like humans, they will not produce heat, um, in their body, so they rely on, I mean, it's on a heat map. The heat mat so I've literally had to tape it down because it kept moving when I was like because um, as you can see the humidity is a bit on the high side so uh, this morning me and my partner we've made a bit more ventilation I might even need to add more because I'm still not happy with that um, but yeah right you've got your snake you've got your enclosure set up um, and then you just place your snake in um, obviously you can leave the snake, it's entirely up to you, but you can do checkups on the snake regularly. Um, but do not, like, touch unless you literally have to. I mean, like, with a hog nose, if you're keeping it on a heat mat, you're going to want the thermostat, obviously, connected to the heat mat. And you want the probe under the substrate um, on the mat so it controls the inside temperature of here I mean if you have it on the outside and you've got all like the air of your home it's never going to be right and you could end up burning your snake um, so yeah you're going to want your um, thermometer for me <laughs> sorry I can't get my words out today uh, thermometer slash hygrometer um, this 70% that's the humidity obviously like I said I'm not happy um, and then this 30.3 is your uh, temperature, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's roughly about 88-ish. 88, 88 I, I ain't got a clue with Fahrenheit, so uh, as you can see, well, my probe, it was literally just down there, you can see the dip. Um, oh yeah, I've got another tip with these as well. Uh, now the probe is in the hide, um, obviously the snake's going to go over it and stuff, and but that, as long as it's not like sat on it, you will get an accurate reading. Now, my tip I would recommend if you're using aspen, which is brilliant for these snakes as it holds a burrow. Which, if you've done your research, you'll probably have heard a lot of already. But this stuff is brilliant. Um, if you put the uh, sent the thermometer sensor on the top of the substrate, it could get too hot. So what I like to do is dig a little hole fill it with, I don't know, about that much sub, 
and then put the sensor on because it's more of an accurate reading of what the mat is set to and it tells you what the because they're burrowers and they spend probably most of their time burrowing so they'll be on, straight on the I mean this is plastic so if she was to burrow down she'd be on the plastic on the heat mat so you want a direct reading from like the most um, the closest to the bottom of the enclosure that you can as you can see it's reading 30.4 could be higher but that'll do for her um, you're gonna want your uh, cold hide as you can see I mean the heat mat literally comes up to about here and then this is just room temperature obviously the heat's rising and circulating I have this one but I don't know if it's working because it didn't have a probe but um, that's the cold hide that's literally just a plant pot um, you're on a water dish do never put the water dish on the hot side as it will cause too much humidity uh, this girl is in blue uh, I don't know if I said on the video yesterday when I showed you that I got her but yeah I'm going to change that water you need to change the water every one to two days um, but yeah so what you want to do you want to leave her to settle like I've said um, at least I most people say seven but I'd say five some people would disagree with that but at the end of the day that's how I look after mine um, I know what it's like um, to wanna I'm sorry I'm saying um, a lot <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but yeah I know what it's like to just wanna go in and hold the snake and bond with it and do whatever but literally this is the most vital part once they're settled yeah go ahead do what you want uh, have it out as long as it's warm keep it out for as long as you want obviously not too long um, I mean uh, my royal he will wrap around my neck um, to steal my body heat but what you've got to remember is my body heat is a couple of degrees hotter than his um, enclosure which is about 33 degrees celsius uh, obviously our bodies are roughly 34 to 36 which is too hot for him so you don't want him out for too long but yeah maybe in the future when I have a bigger place to live I will be breeding this with my um, normal het for frost um, but for now they're both hatchlings um, she's a bit smaller than him so um, I'm doing it again man <laughs> but uh, yeah so now you've got your snake, leave it to settle for at least five days, maybe even seven. I mean, it's up to you, as it, for, but I'm saying a minimum of five days. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that, guys. I'm probably going to have a comment saying, how many times did he say, um, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, um, right then, guys, well, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.